Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States of America. Honored guests, former presidents, ministers, burgermeisters, burger kings, <laughs> students, prudents, leaders of the Academy of Consecutive Poaching. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of my fellow the Armenians, <laughs> it is truly an honor for you to have me standing before you tonight. I thank you for this opportunity to seduce you at the collusion of your conflagration. I want to extend my coagulations to all who have contributed to this campaign. The tutors, the teachers, the trainers, the doctors, the bakers, the candlestick makers, the Pakarabistanians. Tonight I pay tribute to those of you who have perspirated with your trainers on this extended journey of coaxing. Since my divestification away from the annals of the White House, <laughs> it has been my disqualified pressure to exert my prowess into the complex, demanding, and fulminating world of executive coaching. Following the recent erections in Armenia, I was cordially inspired to enroll my exigencies of offering executive coaching to our new president, Barry O'Hara. Since he and his wife Estelle and their two boys have secured highs the White House, I have constantly exhumed Derek Osama to be less black and white about the issues contaminating our nation. The gray areas, which are the inheritance of each and every obfuscant of the White House, elucidate the constant need for exclusive coaxing. When I was head, head coach in the Oval Office, I had a unique team of indivisibles who were unconditionally motivated by my parameters. I defer to Chick Delaney, Ronnie Rambaba Rumsfeld, and my Chief of Staff, General Colon Piles. <laughs> With their subsistence, I coaxed the people of Iraqistan into a new era of democracy. During my insurgency at the White House, I soon learned to coach many expletives. Expletives such as, up yours, go spin on that, your mother, and so on. But my administration went into administration over the coagulates of many expediences. <laughs> Thankfully, one department has segregated the gray areas of competency for the examination of everyone, and I defer, of course, to the CIA, the Coaching Institute of Armenia. Our coaches in the High Development Center in Guacamole Bay <laughs> have excruciated many coaching techniques to elucidate the annals of their objectives. As a result of this, many tourists have come from all corners of the world that they might activate their rapid collaboration processes. Worldwide leaders have speedily divesticated themselves of their organizational strategies. Coaches have activated the rapid disclosure of previously clandestine objectives, even from folks who didn't even know they had them, <laughs> such as the power and efficiency of consecutive molesting. <laughs> Let me now prevent myself in the accreditation of your campaign, and it is to tonight's theme of executive coaches that I now expose myself. When I was a kid in Texas, I used a great many coaches. Greyhound coaches, National Express coaches, <laughs> coast to coast coaches. Some of them were truly executive coaches. <laughs> coaches with tip back seats, fold away armrests, your own personal TV with up to 75 channels. All of them had air conditioning, some of them had bars. 
I had a friend on an executive coach who threw up so badly I had to coax him into having some coaching. His feedbacks were wide-ranging and putrid. <laughs> Tonight, I abscond you to ejaculate your learnings wherever your redevelopment is construed as necessary for the furtherance of our competencies. At this contamination of your confluence, you are co-joined to encircle the global business community with an advanced learning program, a program that will competence your skills for the extermination of all those expletives that would seek to emanate their fullness throughout the world. Journey, therefore, on the coaches with confidence. Look out the windows. Feel the cool breeze of the air conditioning. Use the bathroom. Check out the TV channels. Go take a beer from the bar and the knowledge that you are now disqualified in the furtherance of your poaching. Objective coaxing is truly the best and most efficient way to penalize your priorities. So I winsomely commendate this methadone for the furtherance of your capitulation. I abdicate you all to glaze your asses to your queer old dean of the Academy of Exclusive Coaxing, the Reverend Professor Tom Bleary Royce. May God bless you all. God bless Armenia. Thank you.